Boyle's farm. I spent every summer here as a kid. I gotta say, it's nicer than I was expecting. Pappy did well for himself. You know, went to business school in New York, got a job on Wall Street, and one day his hand got caught in the subway door and he was dragged from Times Square into Queens, largest settlement in city history. No, Pappy should have used that cash on pest control. There are giant rats everywhere. Now, those are nutria, Terry. They're nothing like rats. They have meteor haunches and their teeth are more orange. You know, nutria are actually great pets. They're affectionate and smart. They know how to open doors. Plus, you can milk them. But should you? Happy drank nutrient milk, and he was fit as a fiddle. Anyway, you gotta see the house. I can't wait to show you the rug I was born on. Sure, it's been clean since then. Charles Boyle, I love you. Sam Boyle, I love you. Oh! <laughs> Where's that dead body? He's in the barn. And he looks adorable. Oh, terrific. And everything's set for the funeral? There's one little issue. We can't find Pappy's will. What? He wanted to leave the farm to the Council of Cousins, but if we don't find those papers, it goes to Cousin Lyndon. Oh, no. Who's Cousin Lyndon? Pappy's son. He's the black sheep of the family. Wait, so we have a wealthy patriarch who mysteriously died, a missing will, and a black sheep set to inherit everything? Am I the only one who suspects foul play here? He didn't die mysteriously. He was 93. He was fit as a fiddle tear from all the nutria milk. Don't be ridiculous. No boy would ever commit murder. Oh. Boils don't even get mad at each other, except in that rare instance of cousin on cousin jealousy. You're just bored from your suspension and desperate to find a case to work. No, that's not it. I'm just just telling you, something doesn't smell right here. Oh yeah, that's Pappy's body. Cousin Mel did the embalming in here, and I think she forgot to add something. Well, that's a disturbing revelation.